everybody, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to get flat packs working on Linux. So if you don't know what flat packs are, they're basically a self-contained GTK application with everything that needs to run the program. It's just all packed inside. And uh, the name actually comes from the IKEA flat pack furniture line, I think. I, I don't know why, but that's what it, it what it means. Anyway, um, I'm doing this on a KDE desktop environment specifically to show you guys that you can run Flatpak programs on virtually any desktop. It, it doesn't have to be GNOME based, but if you do use GNOME, it is a lot more integrated. So you'll be able to install Flatpak apps through the software center. Because installing Flatpak apps through the software center is covered extensively in the guide and plus it's just a little bit easier to do we're going to be tackling how to install via the terminal so to get Flatpak working you'll first need to install the program so go through the article and learn what commands you need to use for your Linux distribution but chances are it's all about the same I'm using arch so I'll need to do and once I do that I can enter my password I'm using Arch, so I'll need to do and then that will install everything that I need for Flatpak. Once Flatpak is installed, it's going to rebuild my kernel and it's going to set everything up that needs to be ready so that I can use this new packaging format. Now once I'm done, I can go to a little website I like to go to for my Flatpak needs. This is called FlatHub. Now FlatHub is a build and distribution service for Flatpak. So basically you can go through and you can find pretty much any kind of app you want. But to start off, you'll need to add the Flatpak repo for FlatHub. And it says right here on flathub.org, but you just need to copy this command here, go in here, paste it, and uh, it'll ask for your password. Just enter your password, and uh, it will add the repository. Once you do that, you can go to the Applications tab here and just look through whatever you'd like to download. Maybe you want Atom, maybe you want Bluefish. I'm just going to pick a program and get it working. So I'm going to install the Eoli downloader. So Firefox can tell me to open with Discover, which is the KDE app. But I'm going to choose not to do that. And instead, I'm going to copy the link here. And what I will do is I will do wget and then the URL. And that will download the Flatpak ref file. So to install the program, I do Now this will go through and it will go and if there's anything missing, like uh, if there's a runtime file, it'll tell me and it'll get it. And uh, in this case, it says required runtime for org gnome Eoli not found. So it'll tell me, oh, it was found on the FlatHub server. So I should install it. So I click Y and press enter and then it'll go through and install everything. Download can take a bit if you're on a slow internet connection, but it'll go through, it'll download the runtimes, and everything is quite fast. It'll go through and it'll download the runtimes, and that's that.
So once it downloads the runtime, it's just gonna go through and it will install the app. This could take a bit of time, depending on how much the Flatpak needs, but once it's got everything it needs, it'll just install the program itself. So once the Flatpak has finally installed all of the tools that it needs to run, as well as the program itself, you can go ahead and run it in two ways. You can search your applications list, but beware, when you first install Flatpak, it may take a couple of minutes to show in your applications, or you can run it right away by doing Flatpak run, and then just the name of the file itself. So what does that mean? Okay, well, we want to go install this here. So you would just take this here, this is the name of the program itself, and you would do flatpak run. As you can see, I have this uh, flatpak run org gnome, org.gnome.ioli. Press enter, and then it will launch the program right away. And then there you go, you've got your flatpak, and it's running, and everything is good to go. Now don't forget, you can find tons of different apps all packaged up and ready to go inside of Flathub. It's a great selection. And you know, honestly, Flatpaks, it's a great way to get applications on, on a Linux distribution if you're, if you're not on a supported distro, like if you're using something that doesn't normally get love from main developers from mainstream development like uh you know like ubuntu does you can just go here and it doesn't matter because you can just install whatever you want anyways guys that's going to be it for me today i will see you in the next video